Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome to Gold Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and we are taking a look at the latest on the 2021 NHL season. Could we see a lockout shortened season? We'll be taking a look at that today in this video. If you like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, you want to see the latest news around the NHL, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe down below. And let's take a look at the status of next season in the NHL. All right, so before we get too far into this very uh, informative video, we'll be taking a look at a quick plug to my Instagram and Twitter handles here at GoalLine underscore Hockey. Links will be in the description down below as well as playing throughout the video. And make sure to check out our Patreon if you want to financially support the channel. That is always much appreciated. We do a weekly podcast every Thursday night talking about the latest news around the league. And much more exclusive content as well. Make sure to check that out. Alright, so with that out of the way, let's take a look at the situation with the 2021 NHL season. And as of right now, it is not super promising because we don't really have a start time. We don't have a real date set. And because of the Olympics next year in July, it's going to make things even more interesting because the NBC rights that the NHL has with NBC also plays into the Olympics because NBC has an agreement with the Olympic Committee on hosting those games. So the NHL, if they're, say, even if they're in the Stanley Cup Final and they come close, that could be a real issue for the NHL and a roadblock for them getting things done in time before July 23rd. So the question comes in, well, just do a lockout shortened, a lockout-esque shortened season where you maybe only play, instead of 82, you play 41 games. You play from maybe February to, the, you know, February, you know, May. And then June and July is the postseason and you're done by July 23rd, but you have to be done by the 23rd or you really run the risk of either not having a Stanley Cup champion, which, God, we don't want that. Or having to wait till after the Olympics to finish out the postseason, which could be an advantage or a disadvantage. And then you run into the, is the cup invalidated that year? And all that stuff. We don't want that. A couple of other things to note. Now, people have been bringing up, well, the NBA is returning December 22nd, which is great. I think the NBA returning is good. Um, they will be returning on December 22nd here in 2020. So, they started, they, I mean, it's kind of crazy. They started later than the NHL, right? And they finished their championship where the Lakers won the championship, the uh, whatever it's called. This year, they won it after the Tampa Bay Lightning hoisted the Stanley Cup. But they are they already know when they're starting, and they're going to be starting before the NHL. Why is that? There's a couple of factors. So the one going back to the TV agreement, the NHL relies not as much on the TV ratings. I mean, it does matter, but compared to the NBA, it is no match. The NHL needs fans in the arenas or the, the possibility that they could be by maybe June, July next season, which runs that issue where they kind of have to come close to maybe those Olympic dates at the end of July. But if they could have fans in attendance, that would be huge for the NHL just to pick up that extra revenue which they are not currently getting. And that's why we're seeing all these third jerseys and retro reverse jerseys because they need to make money somehow. I mean, I don't blame them and I'm not complaining. I'm going to be picking up a bunch of jerseys. But that is something to keep in mind. Um, you know, here's another thing. I mean, the obvious disadvantage of losing fans, you know, again, the Olympics is going to be an issue. And... The fact that the NHL doesn't have it set up, I mean, normally you would say the NHL's bigger date, you know, their deadlines they'd want to get set up and ready for aren't really going to be happening. There's not going to be an all-star weekend this year. There's not going to be a, a winter classic on July 1st, which is uh, June 1st, June, what am I talking about? January 1st, 2021 up in Minnesota. There will not be a winter classic. I made a video on that a couple weeks ago, but that is an issue and if you know the timing in the NBA, December 22nd, right? It's right before Christmas. You may be saying, why not wait till after the new year to get things going? The NBA makes so much money. Basically, 
you know how football is known for Thanksgiving. That is their day where they make all their money. You know, that's their big holiday. That is the same for basketball on Christmas. They need that revenue for the because they get Christmas jerseys usually, like a you know a a, a unique a unique alternate jersey for the Christmas Eve and Christmas Day games. That is their holiday, so they have to be back in time for that. And that gives them one or two games probably before then, and then they start those games for Christmas, and they always do very well with the ratings, especially this year, considering you really can't do much else. The NBA is going to kill it. And if, you know, the NFL, um, I don't know if the NFL is going to be playing on Christmas this year. Uh, I don't, when is Christmas this year? That's a good question. Um, But that's a factor uh, as well. What's new in calendar? I don't really care. All right, let's move on to next month. December. Yeah, so Christmas Eve is Thursday and Christmas Day is Friday. So we're not, we may see a Thursday night Christmas Eve football game. Uh, but besides that, it's going to be all NBA because the NHL will not be returning. The Major League Baseball will not be starting then. We They will start in the spring next year. So they have time. They don't have to worry about their situation in Major League Baseball. But hockey is going to be an issue. And the NFL, and I think college football could be the other one. I think it's more of a Saturday thing uh, for for football at that point. But, again, I think it's going to be one of those situations where the NBA is going to kill it. And they know, and they, know they have an opportunity here where they can. This is going to be a slaughterhouse for them making money, which I think, good on them. That's what you have to do. So, the NBA has got their situation figured out. And, but the NHL, unfortunately, does not. And it's going to be interesting to see how they do this. Like I said, do you start in January? You, you know, uh, In February, you have a really shortened season, and you get things done by June. And then in June and July, you have the postseason, and you got to wrap things up. I could definitely see that being a scenario. But the fact that we don't have a date set yet, like the NBA, will they be ready to go in February is the question. And the NHL... I mean, there have been people even saying, do we just lock out this next season, which I don't think the NHL can afford to do. I really don't. Even if it's a 10-game NHL season and they have a Stanley Cup champion, obviously I don't think that's going to be the case necessarily. I think they're going to try and do a half season, 41 games. But it's going to be interesting. And for some of these teams that went all in this year, I mean, we're looking at, I mean, Buffalo signing Taylor Hall. Um Tampa they're in a weird spot they got to win you know they're in a window to win right now Washington um, Vegas these teams need to win now and it kind of puts them in a weird spot with this weird schedule lineup you don't plan on having a lockout shortened season when you're going into this offseason so based off the moves we've seen GMs make based off the moves we've been seeing around the league it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out but guys let me know in the comment section down below. When do you think the 2021 NHL season will begin? Do you think it'll be January 1st? Some people still believe that. I don't believe that at this point. I think we're looking closer to February. Hopefully not March. But guys, when do you think the next NHL season will begin? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, you want to see the latest news around the NHL, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And a subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching. And we need the NHL to come back.